All right, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Antoine, I'm back with another video. In this video today, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make some loops like Palace. Really trying to capture that dreamy, Palace, airy type of sample style. And uh, yeah, I'll show you guys. If you want the sample, make sure to leave a comment or DM me on IG uh, and I'll send it to you if you wanna cook up to it or whatever. So yeah, without further ado, let's get straight to it. Also, right before we get started, I've been working on this drum kit for a while now. Um, and I'm gonna drop this at 1K subscribers. We're very close to it. We're at like 990 or something. Um, so yeah, when we hit 1K, this drum kit is yours. It's full with all the sounds that I've used in all of my beats. So I got this No Kizzy 808. Uh, I got all these like bass one shots. I got some bonus samples. I got some drum loops. I got um, percussion loops also. Um, just a whole bunch of good, good, good sounds, really high quality sounds that you'll be able to use um, to slap some hard hitting drums. So yeah, that's that. Now let's get to the sample. So first I started with this Omnisphere. I pulled up Omnisphere and I picked this Firefly Pulse Pad uh, and I laid this pattern down right here. So what I did to that, I just added a simple EQ, cutting out some of the highs and some of the lows and also this, these frequencies right here, ducking them a little bit. Um, and yeah, sounds like this with the effects. So yeah, very simple, not too complicated. Then I went into contact and I picked this Mosaic Keys uh, gritty falling out preset and I pretty much copied the same notes and this is what it sounds like. So to that, I added some more effects. I added an EQ cutting the lows out. I added a delay tape 201 from Arturia with the reson Resonators uh, reverb preset. And I messed around with the dry and wet knob just to have it, you know, be very uh, little, not too much of a delay. I added an effect rack with the liquid vibe preset, turning down the mix knob to about 57%. And then another EQ cutting out the lows. Um, this is a good tip for y'all because when you have a delay and then some like modulation effects and from plugins, sometimes it may reintroduce some low end or may boost some low end. So to make sure I cut it uh, all that low end out, I have uh, I have an EQ coming after the effects. Um, yeah, just to make sure I get rid of that low end. Uh, so yeah, here's what it sounds like with the effects. Yeah, really cool. Then next, I went into Omnisphere again, and I picked this Arp, uh, Arp, Arma, Ar. You could, you do, you wait, you. Armin, something like that. I'm not sure the name. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is from a Palace uh, Omnisphere bank, and uh, yeah, here's what it sounds like without the effects. So yeah, this was just to add some kind of like low end kind of it's very you know it's it's pretty it's very subtle uh because i added a primal tap with the has it out preset turning the mix to 46 percent and an eq cutting the highs out cutting some of the lows out but uh yeah this is a less prominent sound it's more in the background just to it's more of a sound that you feel rather than like a sound that you'll hear so here's what it sounds like with the effects So yeah, pretty hard. Then next, I went into Omnisphere. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. And I picked this Diversity 300 pad, uh, and I laid this pattern down right here. And so for the effects, I have an EQ to cut out some of the lows and also this harsh frequency that was very prominent uh, and just too loud. A half time with the quarter loop uh, preset, a primal tap with the double trouble preset, uh, turning the mix down to 25%. And uh, here's what it sounds like with the effects. So yeah, it sounds pretty hard. Uh, and then finally I went into contact 
and I went in this um, in this Sonic Ocean uh, library and I picked this flute grain bells and I layered the same pattern. Um, so yeah, here's what it sounds like without the effects. So yeah, as you can hear, the sound kind of hurts my ears too. So I cut the lows out, cut these frequencies out that were very loud. Um, I added a delay memory brigade from Arturia with the bathroom reverb uh, preset, then an effect rack with the ambient dotted eighth preset where I turned the mix down to like 40, 49%. Uh, I added an EQ to cut some more lows out and also duck some top frequencies and then a little radiator uh, just to kind of, you know, saturate it a bit and then a steer one imager to kind of make it wider and sterilize it. And uh, here's what it sounds like with the effects. So yeah, so it sounds really cool. Then what I did, I did what I usually do. I uh, rendered it all out, like rearranged it and rendered it all out as a as its own sample. And then um, I turned down the sample rate to like 22K Hertz and uh, finally added some final effects. I added a good Hertz wow control with the wobbly uh, 15 IPS uh, preset. I have the amount at 10%. Uh, the analog noise gain turned down to 22 minus negative 22 decibels and then a uh, Compressor from waves, um, you know, just to kind of bring the sound up uh, a little more and uh, Yeah, this is what the final sample sounds like Oh, I forgot to say I pitched it down one semitone. Um, so yeah, here's why it sounds like that so yeah, I turned it from, uh, it was a C minor to B minor. So yeah, here's what it is now. Pretty much at the end is just the stems of uh, each individual sound. So yeah, this is a really cool sample. As you can see, you have very distinct uh, A and B parts. Uh, the first part, the A part, is uh, with the very high bells. The second part is a bit more ambient and like turned down. you have this like omnisphere the first sound that i had which is kind of like um robotic very analog and then the final section uh which is just the chords and the notes so yeah guys that's it for this video i really hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel drum kid is coming at 1k subs it will be totally free you won't have to pay nothing for it and uh yeah it will have a lot of quality sounds i will ha have more information about it in the next video uh, i will make like a kind of a video um making a beat with the drum sounds and stuff just to show you guys the heat you can make with it really really um so yeah that's enough for this video i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out